Following recent scenes of chaos at Paphos Airport, which have left passengers backed up and waiting to clear passport control for hours, appeals have been made to the Justice Minister to resolve the serious issue of a lack of staff. We have a serious issue here at Paphos after the recent events abroad. There are some additional measures that are conducted by the immigration authorities. And this takes three, four and five times longer to process each passenger. We have addressed uh, the issue to the immigration authorities to man the all boots that we have available at the airport. And we also ask them to upgrade the Ethernet speed in order to uh, speed up the process. Unfortunately, they are not moving as fast as we expected them to. We have seen some improvements, but still not good enough. Scenes of mayhem as hundreds of tourists are stuck in long queues, some for at least three hours, have gone viral on social networking sites. Complaints have led to the Coordinating Committee of Parties and Organisations, SECO, headed up by Paphos Mayor Fedonas Fedonos, to call on the minister to ensure that staff are increased at passport control. SECO also said that a number of tour operators have warned that they will cease working with Paphos if the problem isn't fixed. Hermes Airport processes approximately 7.5 million passengers outbound and inbound. For Paphos it's 2.7 and all the rest is for Lanaka. Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday are the busiest days. Correct. Have you tried to speak to the airlines, especially the charter airlines, to spread out yes, maybe the flights over the yes. week? What's happened there? The airlines say that it's not very easy to do that. It's, it's, it's difficult to spread out during the time because they can only arrive at a certain, at certain timing. So unfortunately, there's not much that can be done. The other problem is with immigration. We believe that the problem is right there uh, because that, that's what causes a backflow. I mean, that causes backflow to security, that causes backflow to the boarding pass check and, uh, and all the rest that you see here. So uh, that's where it all begins. When we arrived here, we were quite shocked to see all of the snake queues. So it's been probably twice as long as normal. Yep. It's Wednesday, but usually you come through within about 10 minutes, but not today. When we flew out last month, it took us an hour to when we got to Paphos, it took us an hour to get through immigration on our flight home to the UK as well. Somebody did mention to me that they tighten the security up here, so expect a little bit longer. So I don't know if that was the reason. But if that's it, that's it. We're trying to give out information to all concerned, to all parties concerned, to make sure that they're all informed, so they're all prepared and ready for the peaks. Because uh, we do know, yes, that Wednesday is a peak in Paphos, and uh, yes, uh, we all of the all of the authorities need to be. Uh, prepared and ready. We liaised with the tour operators, we coordinated the frequency of the arrival of the buses at the airports in order not for them to come all at once. We give out the information as regards to how many passengers we will have per hour and this we give this information out to the authorities so they know uh, what our traffic is. They can man the boots properly, uh, have enough staff to man it and in order to process the passengers. Today uh well, we found there's quite a few flights arrived at the same time, uh, but normally it's an easy airport to go through, you know, so it is a little bit of delay today, so I believe they may be having some problems at the airport, but the uh, we have to put up with that, yeah? The captain did say that um, we, was, we took off a bit later because... He, was... he did give us a forward information, there, there was some delays in Paphos, yeah. If the immigration had to man all 12 boots that we have available. I believe that we wouldn't have been having all these uh, problems that we're having today. Staffing is, uh, is the police from the governmental authority, right? So it comes from the Minister of Justice. It's, it's from there that it's the issue. They don't have enough staff to send us. They don't have more staff to send us. In an announcement, the Cyprus police said the problem relates mainly to issues of the airport's infrastructure, which is designed to serve limited numbers of passengers, whereas on days of increased passenger activity, it serves passenger numbers that are multiple times its capacity. The statement added, we have taken all appropriate measures to improve passenger service, but without jeopardising matters of security. We have allocated additional staff to the airport and implemented flexible hours to respond to increased passenger flows. We have a lot of these passengers that are going to Limassol. We have a lot of these passengers that are going on a cruise. I had some complaints, uh, you know, telling me the, the hours they have been waiting in the queue and how unacceptable this is. 
the passenger doesn't really care whose fault it is. They, they see you as an airport, so it's, uh, you know, it's you to blame. For the first time, we have eight boots manned in the immigrations, in the departures area. And we also have nine boots in the arrivals. But due to the fact that yesterday, just yesterday, they have upgraded their software, the system is much quicker. Well, we'd heard that the, the arrivals could be quite, uh, quite slow, you know, um, but we're pleasantly surprised when we got here to see that uh, we got through so quickly. Being the operations manager and not being able to s resolve this issue, it's something that's really bad for me. We don't have the control over co governmental entities. We want them to have enough staff to man the boots and have the equipment and the software to minimize uh, passenger waiting time as much as possible.